Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining you how you can find out the degree of freedom of mechanisms and I am going to explain using many examples so that the fundamental of finding out the degree of freedom is clear. We will, we will be using the Kurzberg equation that is degree of freedom is equal to 3 times L minus 1 minus 2J minus H minus X. Now X normally it is 0 but in typical questions there is some value of x which we have to get by logic by seeing the mechanism that is that this is the x is the redundant which is not the part of mechanism but it still it exists and we have to subtract from the degree of freedom now what is this x now l is the number of links j is number of joints h is number of higher pair and what is this x that i will when the example will come I will explain now before starting with the video if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below the big red subscribe button below also press the bell icon adjacent to that do follow me on Facebook Google Plus and Twitter all the links are given in the description below do check out my other videos many of the links are given in the description if you find this video helpful please press the like button if you find this video Helpful if you have any doubt, suggestion, feedback, please mention in the comment section below. Now, starting with the video, so suppose this was the example 1. This is the example 1. Now, in this, there are 4 links 1, 2, 3, and 4. I have met numbered. Now, number of link is 4. Number of joints that is, joint of 1 and 2 link, joint of 1 and 4 link, 3 and 4 link, and 2 and 3 link. So number of joint will be 4 and number of higher pair will be 0 because there is no line or point contact and x is equal to 1. Now how we have to find x because the link 3 it can translate linearly it can translate linearly without affecting the link 2 and 4 alright without affecting 2 or 4 it can move independently so we have to take x equal to 1 that is we have to or you can simply understand we have to subtract 1 that is the motion from the final answer degree of freedom is equal to this was the equation you have to subtract 1 at the end or you can easily directly substitute in this equation you take either this complete equation you put the value of x you will get the same answer or you take only the Kurzberg equation and then after that from logic you subtract the redundant alright I suppose that uh, you have watched my previous video regarding Kurzberg equation and Grubler's criteria if you have not please watch that video and then you will better understand this video now second example here also four links but see the link 3 it is curved it cannot move on its own that is there is no translation motion along alright so it is not independent motion of this three link here it can independently slide or translate but here it cannot independently move so L will be 4 as it is J will be 4 H equal to 0 now X is equal to 0 here so again using this formula substituting the values we get degree of freedom is equal to 1 now using now other example cam and follower mechanism now I have mentioned that there are 4 links 1 2 3 4 now 1 is fixed link and uh, at 2 and 4 there is a point contact because there, this is roller and this is cam so there is point contact so here L will be 4, J will be 3, that is of 1 and 2, this point 1 joint, 2 and 4, that is 3 and 4, 1 joint and 1 and 3, that is sliding joint. So there will be 3 joints and at point of contact of 2 and 4, there will be point contact or line contact, so H will be 1. L will be 4, J will be, number of joints will be of 1 and 2 here, 1 point, 3 and 4, this point, center, 
and one and three sliding point so sliding joint so number of joint will be three higher pair will be the point of contact of link two that is this cam and this follower four so h will be one now x we have to see the value of x carefully now what is x x is the redundant which can move independently now you have to see that either in the mechanism any link can move independently or not here we see that one is fixed so it is ruled out two two cannot move independently we have to provide motion now four four is the roller it can roll about the point of contact about its center of gravity that is four it can roll independently without causing any motion to others so x will be one now substituting the values in the above equation we get degree of freedom is equal to one now if degree of freedom f comes out to be zero it is known as structure or frame if degree of freedom is less than zero that is negative it is known as superstructure now this forms objective question that is if f equal to zero what the mechanism is called your answer will be structure or frame if f, if f is negative your answer will be superstructure or else there can be continuation of the questions that first you have to find the degree of freedom then you have to write either it is structure superstructure or f equal to 1 then you have to write the answer kinematic chain for f equal to 1 answer will be kinematic chain f equal to 0 structure or frame f negative answer would be superstructure now example of a structure or frame that is this you see there are three links one is fixed number of link is 3 number of joint is 3 that is the point of intersection of the links higher pair will be 3 because there is only point contact among these all and x will be 0 that is there is no redundant so degree of freedom comes out to be 0 so it is example of a structure or frame now suppose you have this here also there are three links this this is not considered a link this is just a joining between link 1 and 2 just to provide support so here link is 3 joint is but number of joints will increase that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 joints higher pair will be 0 now here higher pair will be 0 and x will be 0 because there is no redundant so f comes out to be minus 1 so it is known as superstructure so this was the example of superstructure i hope you have got the idea how to calculate the degree of freedom of a mechanism if you have found this video helpful please press the like button if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section below do follow me on facebook google plus and twitter all the links are given in the description do check out my other videos Many of the links are given in the description and currently they are on the screen also. Four videos, you can watch any of them. Please make sure to subscribe. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.